Dear God! What is it? What is it? Is it cancer? Was he burned in a grease fire as a child? What is wrong with your ear, son? Actually, it's called cauliflower ear or perichondral hematoma, and generally you see it on wrestlers and grapplers. Oh, those sweaty man grabbing queers. Man's way to get it is through MMA or uh, this um, mixed martial arts, whatever the hell that is. I like to see people hit each other. All right, all right. So what's the point? You fight, right? Who gives a fuck? Wrong. I give a fuck. People are misinformed of not only what mixed martial arts is, but why someone with obvious good looks and a brain to use otherwise would spend time on brutal, violent, and vaguely homoerotic combat sports. Mixed martial arts was originally just a style versus style matchup. You put in the karate guy versus the boxer, and you see what happens. It was designed to show the dominance of one style over another. And the same principle held true when the Gracie family, who had been winning Valtudo tournaments in Brazil for decades, decided to just spread their family's legacy beyond Brazil into the world. They set up a pay-per-view tournament with bigger, stronger, and theoretically superior traditional martial artists, and then let the rent of the family go through and choke them all out introducing the world to ground fighting and, more importantly, to the Gracies, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Then came the wrestlers, who could control the strikers on the ground and avoid the ground with the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters. Then the strikers learned how to wrestle and do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So then the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters learned how to wrestle and to strike, and the wrestlers learned the other disciplines. Hence, mixed martial arts. Now, you might ask, why does a sport like this continue to exist in our civilized world? Well, the honest answer is that it's the purest form of legal competition. The actual purest form is to take a knife or a rock or something and make another human spring a leak or several leaks until they die. But we as civilized folks, we only allow that to happen to the sound of war trumpets or to the hum of a movie projector. Why do humans want to compete? Simple. We compete for land, we compete for food, and we compete for power. Which is all just to attract the best piece of ass possible. Females compete. Don't let them fool you. Oh, I don't know what to wear! Is simply human for. <laughs> which is chimp for. How do I keep your eyes off that bitch in the bar? Humanity competes for fucking, and right now I'm getting no action, though I am a mixed martial artist. So what keeps me going? Certainly the prospect of pussy in the future. But I'd like to make you all think there is something more on my mind. A deeper motivation, if you will. A higher calling. It doesn't mean there is. I am, after all, a horny slob whose real motivation for making these videos is to appear an intelligent, slightly humorous horny slob. But you're not all supposed to know that, and I'm not supposed to admit that, because we are evolved creatures past our animal instincts and lusts. I have found, over the years, a place of solace in my own head that you reach through extreme circumstances and repetition. I find combat sports almost meditative once you reach a certain level of proficiency. You can allow your muscle memory to take over. You've drilled it so much that you can sit calmly and plan your technique through a maelstrom of violent action and movement. You can take a passenger seat in your body and watch it interact and maneuver on its own. Regardless of whether you're actively thinking or not, you're in a single moment. Nothing else matters. Nothing else clouds your judgment or your mind. After a while, combat can bring peace and simplicity to a restless mind. If it were not for the two hours a day in a wrestling room that I spent in high school, I would have had a lot more bad poetry from my first breakup. Do I have more to say on the subject? Yes. Will I say it more? Yes. Are you free to ask questions? Yeah. If I get enough good ones, I'll make a video to answer them. You can ask me anything, personal experiences, philosophy, what arts I train, my favorite fighters, 
any of that fun stuff. Thanks, and remember...